soon walk on me. Let your word dwell in me richly today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lord God, Jesus, we are going to pray. Lord, every stronghold in my heart. Father, let them be broken this evening. Father, break it this evening. Every stronghold in my heart. Every stronghold that is too strong for the word of God to dwell in my heart. I command you to break right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. We need prayer before we hear the word of God. It is important for us to pray before the we before we hear the word of God. Father, every strong God in my heart. Father, break it. Let it be broken today. In the name of Jesus. Every strong God in my heart. Every strong God. I will not allow the word of God to sit in my life. I will not allow me to be the doers of the word of God. I want me to be the hearers alone. Father, let them be broken today. Let them be broken today. Let them be broken today. Open your mouth. Let's pray. pray that prayer very well. Let's pray that the Lord will break every stronghold in our hearts. Every stronghold in our hearts. Let them be broken today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Lord God Jesus like that. We are going to pray. How bad do I? Every evil arrow fire from the pit of hell. Oh God for God to tell us to know our part. Every arrow fire from the pit of hell. Oh God to tell us to know our part. Into my heart. I command you to get out by fire. Oh yeah, by no jade. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord God for God to know. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord God for God to know. Every evil arrow. Oh God for God for. Fire from the pit. Into my heart, I command you to get her by fire. I command you to get her by fire. You arrow from the pit of hell. Every arrow strike from the pit of hell. Into my heart, into my life. That will not make me to be the doers of God. Every arrow of lukewarmness. Every arrow of Every arrow of coldness fired into my life from the pit of hell. I command you to get up by fire. Get up by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of cares of this world. Every arrow of cares of this world. Every arrow that will make that will make me to be thinking about the cares of this life. That will not make to think about the kingdom of God. That will not make me to to think about evilly evilly things. Father, let them backfire right now. Let them get out of my life right now. I want us to pray concerning our hearts. Before we hear the word of God, let's pray. Father, let them be broken today. 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 Of it, into my heart. I command you to get out. Lord God, just in the name of Jesus. Lord God, just in the name of Jesus. Lord God, just in the name of Jesus. Lord God, just in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Lord God, just like that. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Lord God, just like that. We are going to pray. How bad do I? Oh Lord, bam. My heart with the baptism of revival. Father, baptize my heart with the baptism of revival. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord, baptize my heart with the baptism of revival fire. Father, baptize my heart with the baptism of revival fire. A lot of heart is cold nowadays. Discouragement has made some people hard to be cold. Things happening around us have made some people hard to be cold. Oh Lord, baptize my heart.
Let us let us open our mouth. Let us open our mouth. Open your mouth and pray. That as the word of God is coming forth. The word of God is going to be a blessing to our life. It's going to be a blessing to our soul. Let us open our mouth and pray that prayer very well. I believe you are praying that prayer in the spirit. Open your mouth. Pray the prayer in the spirit. This is a very serious moment. Open your mouth and pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. That the Lord is going to open our eyes to hear. Open your mouth. Let us open our mouth and pray that prayer in the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Almighty God, we bless you. We adore you for this very moment. We thank you for bringing us together once again. We thank you for the word of God you have for us. Lord, we sit thee down exalted in the name of Lord, we pray that through your word today, our life will not remain the same. You will bless us. You will change us. You will build us. You will set us on fire for you. And your will shall be done in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's be seated. God bless us. Today, we have something very important to deal with. It is very, very much important because that is what we need now. We are talking about Becoming God's battle us. Becoming God's battle us. I pray that before we leave this place today, the Lord we send his fire upon our life. In the name of Jesus. 
it is very much important for us to understand what it means to become God's battle ass. It is essential for us for us to know what it means to be God's battle ass. Because to be God's battle ass, it is not just by confession. It is not just by claiming it. But there is a lifestyle that you will see in the life of those who are God's battle ass. Our test is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 20. Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 20. There is a lot to learn from that scripture. In verse 20, Bible says thou art my battle ass and weapons of war please I want you to read that place very well for the Yoruba people I want us to look at that place thou art my battle ass Jeremiah 51 verse 20 Thou art my battle ass and weapon of war for with thee will I break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. is addressing me and you. Thou art my battle ass. This is God talking in that place. And when God is referring to a battle ass, he is talking about Vessels that will release themselves to God. God need a battle ass. What did I say? Yes. God need a battle ass. God would not come down by himself. Whenever God wants to do wonders among men, God will look for men and women that are available for the use of God. So the Bible now says, you and I are battle us and weapons of war. simply means there is a war to fight. Yes. There is a war. And that war is the war against your soul, against my soul. It's the war between darkness and light. War between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. And the Bible now says, For with thee, for with thee, will I break in pieces the nation. I decree by the authority of God. Before we leave this place today, 
the Lord will sharpen us. I thought your amen will be louder. No Christian has outgrown spiritual attack. There is no Christian that has outgrown spiritual attack. Right from when the enemy was thrown out of heaven to the earth, the inhabitant of the world, especially the Christians, have come under the intense attack of the devil. And this is why, if you look at the book of Genesis, a time came. God said it repented me I feel bad I have created man why because of the wickedness because of the abomination and this can be linked to the devil so the enemy knows that the time is short this is why the devil is working extra time. Making sure to use every available weapon in, in his arsenal against the church. Beloved, whatever you see that is very strange may be happening in so many denominations today you should know the devil is at work who is at work who is at work yes the devil is aware of how short the time is and this is why the devil is so much in a hurry to, to destroy as many as possible. Can you, if, if you look at what is happening now, the trend. Last five years, the rate of people going into rituals cannot be compared to the rate of young people are going into ritual today because of money the desire for money the desire for wealth the desire for property is now the order of the day the devil is at work because the devil knows the time is short you can imagine if the devil succeeds to recruit every Every youth in the church who will take over from the fathers when the fathers in the faith when they die who will take over from them who will carry their mantles who will walk in their anointing and their dimensions see the devil is aware of what is coming to the face of the world. He knows the time is short. And this is why the devil is doing everything as much as possible. To cash. To destroy. To steal. And to kill. What is the enemy doing? Because the time is short. Number one, he is recru recruiting more shepherd for himself. The devil is recruiting more shepherd for himself. Beloved, I am not against the churches here and there that we have in our nation today. 
it is a beautiful and glorious thing that we see churches in every corners and not beer palace in every corners not hotels in every corners not clubhouse in every corners but if we will be honest with ourselves the devil is recruiting more shepherds for himself we have more pastors that are ordained by the devil than the one that are sent by God even the one that are sent by God many have departed from the way the crusade conference programs conventions is all central on materialism is all centered on money is all centered on the property of the world the devil is recruiting more shepherd for himself pastors shepherd that will lead people away from the bible that we that we that we teach false teachings that we mislead people that we take people away from the path of holiness and righteousness that will lead them in the path of perdition 